Southwest Airlines is launching an internal investigation after a pilot reportedly signed off a message to passengers by saying, let's go, Brandon. Now, that is a phrase that has become conservative code for swearing at President Biden. It actually means F Joe Biden. Is well, what's so interesting here, Brianna, is that these commercial flights have really become this political flashpoint. We've seen these fights on board in huge numbers by passengers. In this instance, it's a Southwest Airlines pilot who has used the public address system to sow political discord. All right, folks, I'm gonna show you all the triggered responses to this harmless phrase, but first check out this free coin offer for my viewers. Our friends at Noble Gold can keep you safe and protect you, whatever happens next. By starting a precious metals IRA or 401k, you can fight the coming wave of inflation and ride out the storm with your savings intact. And as a bonus and thank you, you get a free five ounce solid silver America the Beautiful bullion coin with each qualifying plan you start this month. Visit noblegoldinvestments.com or call us at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you or just use the link in the description or pinned comment. Welcome back everybody, I'm Drone Tech. So right now in this country, we have gas prices skyrocketing along with very real inflation. I mean, we have ISIS back and threatening attacks on this country. The border is almost not existent, but oh no, an American citizen said a harmless phrase that's actually intended to mock the Democrat party state media for blatantly lying about what a crowd of NASCAR fans were chanting. As we all well know, this goes against all the rules of democracy, decorum, and social norms of respecting the president. Except of course, when CNN openly promoted a movie about assassinating George W. Bush. And in fact, kill Bush was a popular phrase at the time, complete with popular memorabilia. Mocking Bush relentlessly was the express goal of the Democrat party and their state media, which included not one, but two separate sitcoms dedicated to mocking the Bush regime. CNN even once compared Bush to Hitler, if you can believe that. Catholic schoolgirls marched on Jackson Square. They and their teachers say more money is needed to fix the levees, and they hope the president would stop by after his meeting with business leaders. But while a lookalike showed up with a wad of cash, Mr. Bush did not. But don't worry, it's completely different when they do it. But then Obama gets into office and suddenly mocking him as an anti-American racist act with the media uniting and never ending demonization of the Tea Party, which led to countless fake stories and widely spread disinformation by the Democrat media. The narrative back then and even to this day is that resistance to Obama was quote, driven by a refusal to accept a black president. Protests of Obama were so racist that the left-wing media literally had to edit footage of black people protesting in order to claim they were white racists. President Obama addressed the veterans of foreign wars in Phoenix. A man at a pro-health care reform rally just outside wore a semi-automatic assault rifle on his shoulder and a pistol on his hip. And the reason we're talking about this, a lot of talk here, Dylan, because people feel like, yes, there are Second Amendment rights for sure, but also there are questions about whether this has a racial overtones. I mean, here you have a man of color, in the presidency and white people showing up with guns strapped right. to their waist. Then Trump gets in and suddenly it's okay to protest and hate the president openly. I'm gonna say one thing, fuck Trump. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. In fact, it's an act of American patriotism. How about openly simulating the assassination of Trump in Central Park? Cool, have a problem with it? Shut up, racists. So now that a Democrat is once again occupying the White House, protests, criticism, scrutiny, all these things are now seditious attacks on democracy by white supremacist domestic terrorists. And that includes phrases like, let's go Brandon, which this former FBI agent turned Democrat party propagandist on CNN likened to a terrorist threat. Let me just read this. As an experiment, I'd love for Southwest Airlines pilots to say, quote, long live ISIS before taking off. But long live ISIS would be a direct
direct terrorist threat. Let's go Brandon is an innocuous, harmless phrase mocking the media for lying to the American people. The AP hack who shout out this story is actually way more like a terrorist because she stormed the cockpit after her fifis were hurt. No, I'm not kidding. Just check this out. Colleen Long, she's the one that broke this story. TFW, you're trying to go on vacation, and then the pilot says the very thing you're working on over the loudspeaker, and you have to try and get him to comment, but then almost get removed from the plane. Why did she almost get removed from the plane? Well, let's continue. Also, in defense of the airline, I was asking them to open a lock cockpit and probably sounded insane. Yeah, absolutely. You're trying to enter the cockpit because somebody dared to say something political that you disagree with. I mean, does anybody believe for one minute that if the pilot had said F Trump, that this reporter or any of these people would have any issues? Issue with it. We already know the answer to that because they cheered it on for four years and continue to cheer on things like 12 year olds flicking off anti-mask mandate parents. I especially love this one. Imagine if a black pilot said black lives matter. Yeah, imagine that. Can you imagine how fast that would be gobbled up by Fox News and turned into red meat to throw at the base? It's nauseating. I mean, the, without a hint of irony that this is red meat for the base that she's talking about. As usual, these people live in a bubble and have no idea what happens outside of that bubble. They have no idea that American Airlines bans all political messages, except for BLM political messages. The same goes for Delta. Sports were and continue to be filled with players openly promoting BLM and other left-wing issues constantly. What about all the corporations out there openly promoting and supporting BLM? Another CNN chud actually accused this guy of having anger management issues and substance abuse problems without any evidence whatsoever, all for just saying a completely harmless phrase, let's go break Brandon that makes her angry because she voted for Joe Biden and doesn't want any dissent allowed against him. People in the media are all just want to be authoritarians. They want to be able to hold their political opposition to these standards that they themselves are never held to. It's just like I always say, the only legitimate protest is one that's pushing a left-wing Democrat party agenda. They just cannot stand to be mocked or criticized. I mean, they can dish it out, but they tell themselves that it's somehow different when it's being done to them. But they can't even just cry about it on Twitter. No, no, no. They want to go after him and his family. And make no mistake, an attack on this pilot is an attack on all of us. Because their goal here is to normalize the idea of their political opposition being punished for dissent against their agenda. It's like I've been saying for years and years, they literally want to outlaw political opposition to their party. It sounds crazy, I know, but they are literally trying to do it right now. For example, this wannabe Stasi scumbag reporter from the New York Magazine says, quote, commentator shared this DM from a pilot. Firing the pilot and the rest of the crew is a good start, but I'm worried it leaves all of their families off the hook. They're complicit too. Maybe for two or three generations, they shouldn't be allowed to vote or hold office. I'm just spitballing. Just think about it for a second. This guy who calls himself a journalist wants his political opposition and their families punished for multiple generations like they do in North Korea. Just look at what this blue check mark had to say. I like pilots that don't sympathize with terrorists. Southwest has some explaining to do. Like, what are we talking about here? The guy said, let's go, Brandon. Southwest Airlines is now the pro January 6th terrorist attack airlines. Let's go, Brandon has become the MAGA version of Sieg Heil because of course, it's not enough to call people white supremacist or domestic terrorists for saying, let's go, Brandon. No, 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 you're also a Nazi. This guy actually likened the pilots to the 9-11 hijackers. The last time we saw such blind allegiance combined with airplanes, we ended up with a ground zero memorial in a field in PA and had to rebuild the Pentagon. Let's get our shit together. What do you say, America? Let's get our shit together. And by getting our shit together, I guess it's kind of like saving democracy uh, as far as the Democrat state media goes. And that seems to entail the smashing of dissent against the left and the Democrats and their media. Because everyone knows that democracy is one party rule bolstered by a propaganda media that silences all dissent and demonizes all political opposition. I just... <laughs> Oh, Southwest Airlines pilot is like the 9-11 hijackers for saying, let's go, Brandon. I, I, I just... I don't see what the problem is. I mean, let's go, Brandon is just an idea. Folks, the signs have become undeniable. I mean, they've been undeniable for a long time. We are being taken over, or maybe we've already been taken over by straight-up authoritarians, far-left ideologues of various stripes who want to put their boot on your face. When completely justified mockery and legitimate criticism of power becomes a terrorist threat to those that hold the power, we're already in really serious trouble. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. If you're still watching, please hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments.